Good evening and welcome back once again. So we're at home today to Lugo. We had a 1-0 win in the last match. It wasn't the greatest of matches, but we had just got over that final defeat against Barcelona, which was a bit crushing. So to jump back on it and get a win away from home was key. So a few changes since the last match and actually some fresh bodies back too. Xerxes back up front, Mudrik on the left. We're going to put Bajer on the right. Fabio Vieira stays, Herrera's back in, Castledean's going to start in an attack midfield role in the centre, and we've got most of our Steiner back four and our goalkeeper back. Costanu probably needs a break soon, but he's going to start this match. And here we are, back at our home stadium. It's good to be back after having that final and then the away match. It's been a tough couple of matches. Let's hope we can put on a performance for our home fans. And like I said earlier, this is the uh, the fourth of our remaining matches. Got three after this. The next match is away, and then we've got two at home. So that'll be a good way to finish the season. Technically, there's nothing left to play for apart from pride, points, entertainment. Six he's in. What a finish that was. And he just he's running into the net there. That's a way to start. Two minutes in, just over. Bajer on the right. Nice ball to Castledean. Mujic, lovely ball, but I didn't think Xerxes was going to make it. He just got ahead of the, the goalkeeper and poked it in. Lovely ball. Just thought it was slightly overhit. That feels better, to be honest. Can do with a, a really convincing performance and win. Yes, we won the last match, but if you watched it, I mean, you'll know that it wasn't the best. Beautiful goal that we scored around about the 70, 70th minute, something like that. We got very lucky there. That was not a free kick, I don't think. Yeah, we just want a good performance. We've got a 1-0 start very early on, so that's going to give us a little bit more freedom. Mudrik not really strong enough there. But here he is again. How's Xerxes? Vieira, Bajer, oh, just wide. Well played from the team there. Mudrik gave it away, but he got it back, and then he played in Xerxes, and it started from there. As always, Xerxes being the pinnacle of our team, the frontal point. Nice uh, header from Vieira. And Mudrik. Oh, nice play. Offside? No, he's not. He's onside somehow. Great play from Mudrik. Wasn't the best of finishes. Just avoided the tackle there. Maybe that's what put him off. Block, but... Again, I wasn't even looking at Xerxes whether how close he was to being offside. Let's have a look here. It's not the best of angles, is it? Um, no, we're not going to see from there. Either way, it's a goal. Sixty on our trick now. Got a tackle from Bajer. Mudrick, oh, trying to play in. Sixty saw him on the uh, on the run. Xerxes, and it's three. He's got the hat-trick in 16 minutes. It's just one of those games where everything's going right. Work down the channel. Vieira back to Bajer. Nice ball and touch, but 
from that angle, the defender didn't think I was going to squeeze that in. Just about round the defender and the inside of the post. Absolutely brilliant. Got a little bit lucky on the second goal with the sort of deflection and kind of looked offside. But clearly he mustn't have been. But the other two goals have been really well worked. And we could be in again here. And here's Mudrik. Zirksy again. <laughs> and he's in. Wow. I don't know what to say. Nice ball through from Castledine. Madrid could have maybe had a short cut inside. And again, the pass was... Zirksy could just get onto it. You're talking fractions. On another day, you know, we don't score these goals. So this is a bit of a release after the disappointment of the final. And... Uh, Getting pretty much all of the squad back after that. Bit of a cathartic game. What a save that was from the goalkeeper and a brilliant clearance off the line. Defender being alert and getting back before anyone else could or the ball could trickle in the net. Well, we're causing a little bit of pressure now. I'm not going to be too worried about that. We've been 4 0 up. Oh, my word. What is going on? I have no idea what's going on. Everything's just working. Everything's clicking. Mudrick starts it. Then Castledine. Castledine's played really well. Really nice ball of the area. Look for the one-two, but then saw Gera wide and absolutely hammered it in. Six, he with an assist now. Yeah, fired the pass into him. Like I say, I was going to go for the area. I saw Bouger, so went for him. Normally I'd go for the curler, but I just decided to smash it. That felt good. I mean, the curling shots are probably the ones that work more consistently. But smash one in like that does feel good. Vieira again. They can't keep the ball. Uh, Mudrick just stopped his run as Vieira was playing it. Not sure why. Here's Vieira again. Now Mudrick deflects. Was half expecting that to deflect over the goalkeeper and in. It's not their day. <laughs> Look at that deflection goes our way. Zixi in again. Oh, what a strike. <laughs> I have no idea. <sighs> what is going on? Oof. Now, the reason I had it is when I played the pass, I realised that it's probably going to lose that situation where if I take a touch, the defender is going to either win it or pull my shirt and you're not going to get a shot away so I've just absolutely laced it damn Zixi nearly getting the interception there nicely played from Umrajic not a bad ball out to Bajet not anyone there to really Get the second ball. And again, they lose it. They got lucky there. First, probably a bit of luck they've had. To be fair. 
Now Vieira. Bouger. Ah, that wasn't wasn't who I was trying to play. Who I was trying to play to Xerxy. Probably wasn't the best option either, really. Nice tack off from Mumrajic. Oh, wait to take share it. Slow down a little bit now. Share it does well to keep the ball. Now Mudrick. Oh, and it deflects in. What was I saying earlier? They are not getting the run of the ball. We've played well, but that is cruel. Nearly happened earlier. Lovely play from Tech Share to keep it earlier. Just cycle the ball around. Really nice strike from Mudrick. But um, keep it poppy would have saved it. Yeah, it was it was on target, and um, I think that should be half time after they kick it off. Yeah, there it is. I mean, surprisingly, we had only 51% possession. We've just been clinical today, though. I mean, 10 shots on target. Sorry, 10 with 8 shots being on target. That's not abnormal for us in one half. To score 7 of them, yeah, that's... Uh, what a half that was. Xerxy getting 5 goals. Midruk and Bajer getting the others. I don't really know what else to say. Uh, oh, Kostanu trying to play in Xerxy again. He just had to halt his run because he was starting to run into an offside position. And it was just when Kostanu was about to play him in. I'm sure Lugo would wish they could just go home at this point. Probably thought that about 20 minutes ago. Nearly a decent ball from Bajer. Mudrick's in here though. Oh, nearly a nice ball to, to uh, Xerxes. Here's Kasseldeen. Good save. Gotta feel sorry for the keeper. I don't really think... I mean, has he done anything particularly wrong? I don't think so. Maybe the first goal where Xerxes poked it in. Could he have got ahead of him there? Maybe. Um, that'd be very, been very critical. Yeah, oh, just a little bit behind him. Mudrick. Mudrick. And it's eight. That's a proper Mudrick goal this time. No deflection there. Just behind Vieira, but he stays calm into Mudrick and a lovely kill finish. I think we are going to make some substitutions before the kickoff. So we're going to bring on Caulfield for uh, the right back just to give him a bit of a break. Bajer is going to come off for Carlos Perez, and we're going to bring on Hampton for Castledean again, just to freshen things up. McDowell's the right back. I don't know why I forget his name sometimes. Give it away straight away there. Ah, it's a poor ball from Xerxes. Don't think he'd be too worried about it though. Nice play there. Hamilton's first touch of the ball. Now Perez. Back to Perez. 
home turn. That's comfortable. Long distance wasn't powerfully hit. Keeper nearly gives it away there. Got lucky. Don't know why he was dawdling on it. He should have just thumped it. It's worked out in the end. Great defending there. Brilliant header from Teixeira. Don't know how he got ahead of the, the attacker. Good tackle from Vieira. And counter-attack chance here, possibly. Vieira's looking a bit tired. But here's Vieira. Beautiful pass. What a finish. And Tixi with the assist. Breakaway goal. Vieira with the tackle that started it, ran on, played it to Xerxi, thought about playing out wide to Perez, but Vieira kept his run and the defender couldn't keep up there. And a beautiful first time finish. Now normally you'd think Xerxi, in real life, he would get a 10, wouldn't he? You know, the goals he scored, the assists, everything he's done has been brilliant. I think he's had one wayward pass in the whole game. But uh, you don't get 10s in pairs. If you get a 9, it's absolutely extraordinary. You hardly ever get 9s. You may do in this game, though. I think I've seen a 9.5 before. I think. I'm sure I have a couple of times like where I had players that scored a ridiculous amount. Ridiculous amount of goals. Not in PES 2021, I don't think, but all PES games pretty much have the same rating system. Um, never really improved it. Oh, nearly. Got uh, Mudrick was in on the left there. Xerxi again. Now Vieira. Oh, try to let, just chip it over the defender there to Xerxi. Good tackle from Kosinu. Cofield mopping it up as well. Nice play from Xerxi. Staying strong. Corner. Yep. Again, we'll try... The new type of corner routine that we try to play. Not the best, but it's better than what we used to do. Now Carlos Perez. Oh, it looks like he got fouled there. Don't particularly want a penalty, really, but... Nice play from Xerxes again. Perez to Caulfield. Oh, just overshot to Perez there. Sixty. My word. Is that six? Six for sixty. Yeah, it is. Double hat trick. I know he's on an upward, some, uh, what turquoise colour, whatever it is. But you know the the most in form you can be, and that does make a difference clearly. But still. Um, but I've always said, you know, play the players that are in form on the good conditions. If you've got players that are of a similar-ish level, even if one's slightly better, but one is in, like, that top condition, it's worthwhile playing them because they can just play out of their skin. I mean, Xerxes, you know, on number nine anyway. He's our first choice, number nine. Nearly nice play there. One well defended in the end. Good tackle. That was Xerxes. Oh, he lost it for the. That's <laughs> maybe the first time he's lost it. Good tackle from Cosano. And there it is. 10 0. 
double figures. Not sure we're going to see that for a very, very, very long time, if ever. And look at that. Just what I was saying half time, somehow we had 48% possession. I have no idea with that game because we were absolutely dominating the game. We've got less passes, less possession, but 10 goals, 15 shots, 13 on target, and 10 going in. I mean, that is such a high hit rate in terms of conversion. That's um, never going to have a game like that again, I don't think. And like I said, Xerxes getting a 9, which for Pez is just out of this world. Getting a 9 is... You know, you do get it now and again with games like that. Scoring six goals, what did what did he get? Two assists as well or something? How you don't get a 10 for that? No idea. But that's it for today, guys. We're away to Las Palmas next time, and then we've got two home matches in a row to finish off the season. What a great season it's been as well. Yes, we had the disappointment of the final loss against Barcelona, but if you said at the start of this that I would get to the final, I would beat the likes of Real Madrid, Villarreal take Barcelona to the last minute of the game twice for them to equalise via free kicks and world-class free kicks and then only lose on penalties. Get promoted, get over 100 points. Can't really ask for much better than that. But thank you very much for joining. Hit that like button, leave a comment down below and think about subscribing. And I'll see you all next time. Cheers.